Coming up on Influence Her. We're taking you to Candyland. We're here at Smarties Candy Company. Celebrating 70 years of satisfying your sweet tooth. The company behind America's favorite candy roll has women in charge for the first time. We are going to show you how Smarties are made today. So take this sweet ride with us this week. This is what you're eventually going to get at home, so watch it at work. As we look into what it takes to run this show. That's happening right now on Influence Her. Hi guys and welcome to Influence Her only on News 12 Plus. I'm Amanda Bossard. And I'm Aisha McKenzie. We are here at the Smarties Candy Company in Union, New Jersey. Yes, it's been a family owned business for the last 70 years. They're celebrating 70 yes, years in amazing. business this year. And for the first time in company history, it's run by three women. Three amazing women. Mm -hmm. And we sit down with one of them, the co-president, Liz D. And we're gonna get shown around the factory and we're gonna take you with us. Yeah, so get ready. We're going to real life Candyland today and they're putting us to work. <laughs> I'm taking a while. <laughs> I gotta look good. Gotta make sure it's is all in it, Is it all in? in? Is it all in? I think we're, we're gonna just... It's wait, wait, wait. Perfection. <laughs> I think we're ready to go. Time to head into Candyland. We are here with Liz D. She is the co-president of Smarties Candy Company. So Liz, what's happening here right now? We are going to show you how Smarties are made today. And right behind us is the tablet room. This is where our candy tablets are made. Okay, so stop number one on the tour. Let's tablet get room. to it. <laughs> We did 
Lucinda, thank you so much for having us here. We're so excited to be here. Thank you for coming and welcome to Smarties Candyland. Oh, we're we so are excited. so excited. Yay. So as we walk in, we can just feel the family here. It's a family run business. And how do you continue to keep that energy after 70 years of having this business starting with your grandfather? Oh my gosh. Well, for starters, my grandfather, Edward D, who founded the business, just turned 95. Amazing. And still comes into the office nearly every day. You two had the opportunity <laughs> to meet him this morning. So you know the vibe, you know, and it's something about the energy of the space. We've all known each other for decades, whether or not we are in the family. And I work alongside my sister and cousin as co-presidents. So it's a very familial atmosphere to say the least. Amazing. Now, obviously, this is something that you were exposed to probably as a kid. Mm -hmm. Did you know right away that you wanted to come and be a part of Smarties and carry on the family legacy? I did not know that I was going to end up working at Smarties, mm -hmm. and our family never put pressure on us to come into the business. And the thing is, I was a little rebellious. <laughs> so if they had told me, you need to come into the family business, you need to take it over, we're going to teach you this right now, I probably would have rebelled against it. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, their psychology worked on me. They gave me the freedom to choose, and I did in inevitably, obviously, end up coming here, and I'm so glad I did. I love working here. Awesome. And I love that, and Smarties hasn't changed in the best of ways. So after, in 70 years, how do you, as co a co-president with your sister and cousin, want to keep with the family-oriented candy, but also stay on trend as well? What are some things you guys like to do? Yeah, you know, it's an interesting opportunity being a classic candy because people remember our candy from when they were kids, right? Mm. But we want them to still enjoy it throughout their lives and share it with their children. So part of what we do is tell our story. Nobody else has our story, right? And so while we continue to revamp and change our package design, we've touched our logo a little bit, we also continue to deliver the classic candy that people know and love because you don't want to taste that candy and have it be different than the way you remember it. Mm -hmm. Sure do. Can we talk this. a little bit about that story? How did this all get started? We're in New Jersey. This is where the company got started and, and how it's evolved over the 70 years that it's been around. Yes, absolutely. So my grandfather came over from England by boat. His name mm. is Edward D. And that was in 1949. So we're actually celebrating, like you said, our 70th anniversary this year. It's our 70th birthday. Don't we look good for 70? Yes. Um, Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> 70 years young. Um, yeah, but so we've evolved with the times, but also stayed true to our roots. And mm -hmm. one thing that's interesting about Smarties that really work, we've found for modern today's consumers, is that it ticks a lot of the boxes for people's sensibilities and sensitivities. Mm -hmm. So Smarties are fat-free and gluten-free, peanut-free, free of top allergens, and only 25 calories per classic candy roll. So those things are very concerning to modern consumers, especially today when entire schools will not allow peanuts, for example, mm -hmm. in the door. So especially for people like moms, such as my co-presidents, Sarah and Jessica, it's nice to know that there's a safe treat that people can enjoy when it's time to enjoy candy. So it's like a guilt-free candy. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I like to think all candy is guilt-free. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no guilt involved. It's just a treat, and we hope people enjoy it. After the break, our conversation with Smarties co-president Liz D continues, and we're talking women in the workforce. In all industries, there is an adequate representation of women in the highest levels of leadership. And how Liz's rise to leadership in the family business wasn't a guarantee. I think this is interesting because there was no aha moment. Now, with three women in charge, Smarties Candy Company is changing the status quo. We're now role models for our daughters and their daughters to see that this is possible for everyone when we come back here on Influence Her. You're watching Influence Her only on News 12 Plus, and today we are sitting down with Liz D. She is the co-president of Smarties, and we are in the wonderful Smarties factory yes. right now. Candyland. We love like it. Candyland. I'm excited right now. <laughs> and being a woman in your position and with your sister and your cousin, how do you feel you are empowering other women who are young entrepreneurs trying to get where you are, just trying to find their place in the business world? Yes, yeah, so this is the first time in our company's history that we're a woman-run business, so we're very excited about that, and it is historic for us, but of course, in all industries, there is an adequate representation of women in the highest levels of leadership positions. So for us, just having that representation really matters because we're 
we're now role models for our daughters and their daughters to see that this is possible for everyone, people who look like me, people who I can relate to. I can see myself growing up and being in a leadership position, which for me growing up, my mom is amazing. I adore her. I just talked to her this morning, in fact. But she she was a homemaker and she did a lot of work in the home. And so I actually would see my dad go into work every day and I began identifying with my father. And I began thinking, I'm going to do that when I grow up. But not many people will do that necessarily. It's much easier to do when they can see people who they relate to who look like them, who are women like them, to know that that is an opportunity available for them too. And having seen your father do that, and I know you spoke a little bit earlier about the fact that this wasn't something you always knew that you wanted to go into, what convinced you or what was your aha moment that this was what you wanted to do? So I think this is interesting because there was no aha moment where I said, I'm in and I'm in it for the long haul, let me step my foot in the door. I came in and I said, I'm going to give this five years. And I didn't know that it was going to be forever. I think many people when they're making career decisions are afraid to take that first step because they think it's all or nothing. It's I'm going to decide to do this forever or not. And it scares them to just try something new. So for me, it was a bit of an experiment. And I chose five years out of, out of the blue because I thought I'm going to give this a chunk of my life and my time to see if I can contribute here. I don't want to be where I'm not wanted. I don't want to be in relationships there if someone doesn't want to be with me. And I don't want to work in a workplace where my work isn't valued and doesn't make a difference. So I came here and I thought, let me do my work, see if I can make a difference here, and see if I can contribute to the business that's contributed so much to my family. And at about three years in, I realized I really love it here and this feels really good to me. So you could call that an aha moment, but I don't like to say it like that because I think people think, well, if I don't have an aha moment, something's wrong. And that's not true, you know? We can think about our careers like an experiment and it's just part of the story. So this is like where you're meant to be. I love that. Yeah, I, you know, I really love it here. I began working here over 20 years ago when I was 13 years old, believe it or not, in this very room. I remember working. Um, I worked on our first website. But even at that time, I didn't know this was forever. But it all kind of built up to the experience that allowed me to do what I'm doing today. I love that. And you have a lot of investment projects that help a lot of young business or just business owners in general. Can you elaborate on some of those projects? So in 2016, my husband and I co-founded an investment company. And what we do is we invest in startups. It's very risky and it's very exciting. And what we're doing is we're investing in the future of food. A lot of startups need that capital to get going. Oftentimes, they don't even have a product yet. They're pre-product, which is part of why these investments are so risky, but also so exciting. So we get to see what's up and coming in the food industry. And it really is a passion for me. What is your vision for Smarties as it continues on for hopefully another 70 plus years? So I'm definitely not thinking 70 years down the line. I'm taking it in five year chunks. That feels right for me and much in the way that my family didn't put pressure on our generation to enter the business. I'm trying not to put pressure on the next generation to enter the business and kind of give them the space to make their own decisions. If it continues to be a family company into the next few generations, that would be amazing. You know, fewer than 12% of family businesses transition successfully into the third generation, and that is something that we're very proud to be able to say that we've done. Fewer than 4% transition to the fourth generation. So if we can achieve that, that would be incredible. But right now I'm focused on doing right by the company in you know, the next five years, and then the next five years, and then the next, and we'll see. I like that, five-year plans, <laughs> consecutive like five-year plans. And if you could say like the one thing you, you can feel why it's been staying in the family, the one thing you can say why you're different than a lot of companies who you know, sell off or anything like that, what makes you feel like Smarties is staying in the, in the family? We love what we do, and I think when you love what you do, it makes continuing doing it easy. It doesn't feel like work, and that's been something that is a little intangible. Um, but I know that we get phone calls, emails, and even faxes every day asking if our company is for sale, and we're able to joyfully answer no. Smarties isn't for sale because we are going to continue being a privately held, family-run business based right here in New Jersey. So that's important to us and that's how we keep on, you know, moving the business forward. And given your leadership role in this company, what advice would you give to other women um, who want to go off and, and start their own businesses or develop other businesses or, or even just climb the ladder? in a certain business. I have the opportunity to speak with many young female entrepreneurs who want to develop their careers, start businesses, 
and also students entering the workforce. Mm -hmm. And I know that many of them, when we have these one-on-one -on -one conversations, express fear. Mm -hmm. Fear to take that first step, fear to you know, ask for that raise. When I speak with young entrepreneurs and women in business, one thing that comes up a lot is that they share that they're feeling fearful. And I always tell them that courageous people are not people who cannot feel fear. Robots can't feel anything. We're humans. And what makes people courageous is that they feel the fear, but they do it anyway. Mm -hmm. So the feeling that fear is not unusual. It doesn't mean that you're going down the wrong path. It's just part of life and they're courageous by taking that next step so not letting fear stop you is so important for anyone who wants to make a difference in their career and take that next step forward I love that and what I love is they're hearing it from you someone they can connect with someone they can kind of visualize being where you are which is amazing because being a young business owner a young woman business owner you want to hear from a woman who knows what she's talking about I love that. making it happen too. making moves love it Liz, thank you so yes. much for sitting down with us and sharing all of your insight and, and letting us into candy. Welcome back to Influence Her. Aisha and I are back in studio after we our are. whirlwind week at the Smarties Candy Company factory. How much fun did we have? So much fun. Honestly, I still have a sweet tooth. I know you do at home as well. Looking at all that candy, it was like a real life Candyland. It was amazing. <laughs> That's the line of the week. It was. And also inspiring, really, to see that such a classic American mm -hmm. company is now being led by three women. Of course, we sat down with Liz D., one of the co presidents of Smarties today. I mean, what a historic achievement for Smarties. The first time in company history that women are at the helm. No, it's true. And it's lovely that it's also a family business. Their grandfather came all the way from England here to start this company. And they're so proud of it. And what's beautiful is Liz said she didn't even know if this is what what exactly she wanted to do, which I think is great. She found her calling, she found that Smarties was the exact place she needed to be, which I feel like is truly a testament to a lot of people who are trying to figure out their careers and figure out what they want to do, and she kind of touched on that as well. Absolutely, and outside of her career at Smarties, mm -hmm. she's helping other women build their own businesses, so she's passing along the wisdom that she's great learned information. along the way. and teaching and mentoring other women who want to work their way up the ladder and become a co-president one day themselves. So no, it's true. a very full circle story for her. Liz shows that you can do it no matter what. So I really hope you learned from her this week. Absolutely. And of course, you can follow her at the Liz D on social media. And of course, go give Smarties a follow too. They're yes. celebrating 70 <laughs> years. So happy birthday, happy anniversary to Smarties. And, and we'll be back, don't worry. Yes, and hopefully 70 plus more. Thanks so much for tuning in this week on Influencer. Have a great day.